Good morning. Today we'll be doing the Liturgy of the Hours morning prayer for Saturday, August 14. Today we celebrate St. Maximilian Mary Kobe, a priest and a martyr of our church. Maximilian Mary Kobe, born on 8th of January 1894 in Poland, became a conventual Franciscan and in 1918 was ordained priest in Rome. Out of deep filial devotion to Mary, he established the sodality called the Militia of Mary Immaculate and promoted its growth in Poland and other parts of the world. As a missionary in Japan, he labored under the patronage of the Immaculate Virgin to spread the Christian faith. He returned to Poland and during World War II was imprisoned and suffered great hardship in the concentration camp at Auschwitz. His life of dedication was crowned by his supreme sacrifice of charity on 14th of August 1941 when he offered his own life in place of another prisoner. St. Maximilian Kobe, pray, pray for, for us. us. Let's go through the pages. For the breviary, our hymn would be 1071, followed by the first antiphon at 1072. Our reading is in the Common of Martyrs at 1705. Our closing prayer is at uh, 14 on the additional uh, Canticle 656. For the Christian prayer book, it's hymn number 8, 916 for the first antiphon, 1402 for the reading, and 691 for the canticle. Let's have a moment of silence as we begin our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Praise my soul, the King of heaven, to thee speak thy tribute bring, ransom givers, Lord forgiven, evermore his praise. Lord, you are near to us and all your ways are true. I call with all my heart, Lord, hear me. I will keep your commands. I call upon you, save me, and I will do your will. I rise before dawn and cry for help. I hope in your word. My eyes watch through the night to ponder your promise. In your love, hear my voice, O Lord. Give me life by your decrees. Those who harm me unjustly draw near. They are far from your law. But you, O Lord, are close. Your commands are true. Long have I known that your will is established forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, Lord you, you are, are near to us, us and all your ways are true. true. Wisdom of God, be with me, always at work in me. God of my fathers, Lord of mercy, you who have made all things by your word, and in your wisdom have established men, to rule the creatures produced by you, to govern the world in holiness and justice, and to render judgment in integrity of heart. Give me wisdom, the attendant at your throne. And reject me not from among your children, 
for I am your servant, the son of your handmaids, a man weak and short-lived and lacking in comprehension of judgment and of laws. Indeed, though one be perfect among the sons of men, if wisdom who comes from you be not with him, he shall be held in no esteem. Now with you is wisdom who knows your works and was present when you made the world, who understands what is pleasing in your eyes and what is comfortable, conformable with your commands. Send her forth from your holy heavens and from your glorious throne dispatch her that she may be with me and work with me that I may know what is your pleasure. For she knows and understands all things, and will guide me discreetly in my affair, and safeguard me by her glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Wisdom, Wisdom of God, God be with, with me, always at work in me. The Lord remains faithful to His promise forever. O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. Acclaim Him, all you peoples. Strong is His love for us. He is faithful forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The, the Lord, Lord remains faithful, faithful to His promise forever. forever. reading from the letter from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians praised be God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ the Father of mercies and the God of all consolation he comforts us in all our afflictions and thus enable us to comfort those who are in trouble with the same consolation we have received from him as we have shared much in the suffering of Christ so through Christ do we share abundantly in his consolation. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Afflictions, consolations, and miracles. Afflictions are in need of miracles. And miracles come from Jesus. Jesus' salvific love and consolation. Afflictions are in need of finding comfort achieved through harmony with Jesus, the need for God's consolation. Afflictions are in need of consolations, the redemptive love of Jesus. Trusting that it brings us closer to a miracle of releasing us from the bondage of these trials. The miracles are therefore for man. The miracles are in harmony with the redempted finality of Jesus' mission to bring us back to a personal relationship with God the Father. The miracles are works of Jesus which reestablish the good where evil had lurked, producing disorder and confusion. Through Christ, we learn about giving our right to be right so others may live this can release us from our unhealthy competitive nature through christ we learn about true love that forgives any hurt done to us this produces an atmosphere of harmony through christ we learn how to love where selfless love is the miracle both in words and deeds our consolations a consolation with God through Jesus is a miracle that brings joy peace and love
The just are the friends of God. They live with Him forever. The just are the friends of God. They live with Him forever. God Himself is their reward. They live with Him forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The just are friends of God. They live with Him forever. Blessed are those who suffer persecution for their sake of justice. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised to hold that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember His holy covenant. This was the oath He swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship Him without fear, holy and righteous in His sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare His way. To give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed are those who suffer persecution for the sake of justice. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. Our Savior's faithfulness is mirrored in the fidelity of His witnesses who shed their blood for the word of God. Let us praise Him in remembrance of them. You redeemed us by your blood. Your martyrs freely embraced death in bearing witness to the faith. Give us the true, true freedom of, of the Spirit, Spirit, O Lord. Your martyrs profess their faith by shedding their blood. Give, Give us, us a faith, faith o, Lord, o Lord, that is constant and pure. Your martyrs followed in your footsteps by carrying the cross. Help, Help us, us to endure courageously the misfortunes of life. Your martyrs washed their garments in the blood of the Lamb. Help, Help us, us to, to avoid, avoid the weaknesses, weaknesses of the flesh and worldly allurements. At this time, let's take a moment of silence to lift up our prayers and petitions to our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear Lord Jesus, we lift up to you our prayers and petitions, together with the prayers and petitions of each and every one praying with us this morning. We ask, Lord Jesus, that you hear and answer our prayers as we say, You, you redeem us by your blood. We now pray the prayer your Son Jesus has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Gracious God, you filled your priest and martyr, St. Maximilian Colby, with zeal of your house and love for his neighbor. Through the prayers of this devoted servant of Mary Immaculate, grant that in our efforts to serve others for your glory, we too may become like Christ your Son, who loved his own in the world even to the end, and now lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time. Same place. Same, same channel. channel. Have, Have a, a great, great day. day.